Could it be possible that there is a common denominator to all human beings in terms of them making sense out of this world? Could it be that there is something that all of us can relate to, whether we are yellow, black, white, purple, pink, whatever? Could it be a solution to our existence in life that makes sense to all of us. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself a question? Why is it that we all seek similarity? We all seek to go through the same thing. What we've seen happening in another country, we want to import and do the same to our country and solve our problems. But let us go to the individual level. Not all of us are intellectual in the same nature, in the same way. Others are having high intellectual capabilities. Others are having low intellectual capabilities. But that being the case, is there a way that we can make sense to life, all of us, regardless of how different we are? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So today in one of my social media channels, I've just gone there and asked a question. And that's a question that I'm going to pose to you today again. I've asked, have you ever come to a standstill, stopped all the traffic in your life and just asked this question? What is it all about anyway? You know, there is an answer to that question. But the question that I'm going to ask again is this. Do we ever stop to ask that question? We are always in a rotating mode, always in a continuous mode, always churning out things, always moving from one activity to the next and trying to figure out what exactly is it that we're doing in this life. Do we ever stop to ask ourselves that question? So I'm going to pack that aside and just going to leave you to ponder about that. But the thing that I want to address in this episode today is about purpose to profit. When we're asking those questions, when we're asking, is there one common denominator that can connect all of us and that can make sense to the most of us? If you are a creator, for example, what is it that you're going to put into people that is going to help them individually to sort out their lives? And I think one of the things that we need to agree upon is that we are all different. In fact, we are all unique. I don't need to make a case for that. We are different in gender. And even we are different in color. We are different in tribe, in races. We are different in intellectual capabilities. We are all unique. The thing is that we are so different one to another that we don't even need to make a case for it. However, in life, you realize that instead of celebrating the differences, instead of celebrating the uniqueness, instead of celebrating the difference, uh, differences that are available in all of us, we are trying as much as possible to be the same. We are trying as much as possible to do what our neighbor does. Have you ever gone into these planned neighborhoods? By the way, did you know that if you moved into a planned neighborhood and you found that most of your neighbors, if not all of your neighbors, have an antenna, a TV antenna for, a TV antenna for cable TV. Did you know that before long you're going to become like them? You're going to get one for yourself just to fit in. My point is that we try so much so to, to fit in the 
things that are already available and I've been talking about the status quo and so on. We try so much so that we do not necessarily want to stand out and celebrate our difference and it's become so casual so routine we don't even recognize the fact that we are not necessarily celebrating our uniqueness and our differences we are basically putting it on the side and trying as much as possible to fit in to be like the joneses to catch up with the joneses to be like what our neighbors are and not just physically but even in our individual lives not just in families but even in our own individual lives we're always oscillating towards being like someone else you know trying to be like someone else all along so the question that i was asking initially is this is there a single most common denominator that we can use to make sense out of this life it is there and guess what it is It is not sameness, it is our differentness. It is our uniqueness. It that's the most common denominator. The that we are all different or all unique and the only thing that is going to make sense to all of us is when we celebrate our uniqueness, when we celebrate our differentness, when we celebrate how different you are from the next person from the neighbor from the the other guy in class and so on you are different but the problem we are say, we are having in life is that we are doing the exact opposite we are trying to be as much as possible like them we are trying to put on uniforms when we go to school there's nothing wrong with that but the idea the back of our minds we do not understand or do not know that we are being the same we are trying to be the same when we are different we sit in the same classes do the same examinations when we are different we want to pass and all of us have a job when we are different and so how do we make it in life when we are all seeking to be the same how do we make it in life when we are all seeking to by the way who said that all of us are supposed to make it in life that's another case altogether and we have put parameters of quote or quote making it making it in life and they are the same all the world over they are the same parameters and yet deep inside of us we are all different in nature and so in answering the question trying to figure out how can people solve things that are you know when you having that kind of mentality where we're trying to be the same you know what happens we find that we are sa- having the same problem in every country and what is that that same problem the same problem is the problem of employment and jobs so you're trying to find out how can we solve this how can we solve this and we're trying to figure out the ways and the means in which we can find solutions to our common problems <laughs> they become common problems because we are having a common way a common approach to life so i will tell you this that the solution is to go back to the origin and celebrate the difference that you have that the answer is not out there with someone else that someone else you are looking for to give you an answer has their own life full trying to figure out and probably even coping someone else who is also coping someone else and so on and so forth the answer is to go back to the origin to the essence to the authenticity of the individual and celebrate it i figure out that the answer to your life the answer to my life is in my purpose my gifts my talents and that's why it's possible for us i'm thinking it's possible for all of us to have purpose out of to have profit out of our purpose to convert our purpose to do our purpose and as we do our purpose we get paid for it we get compensated for it in equal measure like i said in the episodes previously that physics teaches us that for every action there is an equal but opposite reaction and the action i'm talking about here is deploying the purpose that you have 
deploying the potential that you have? Why will you be given potential to sing or to have a very good voice and convert that voice to some other form, other product, other service? Why will you be given a mind that can think back and forth and can cram numbers and crunch numbers back and forth? Why will you be given this urge just to create businesses and be an entrepreneur? Why will you be given that spirit of just being a hospitable human being you just love to talk to people and that's why you find your differentness that's why you find your uniqueness why would you be given that ability to craft words and just come up with words that inspire and words that you know you paint pictures and that people cannot do why would you be a france in rivers with Imagine if you are a France and Rivers. France and Rivers is one of the most gifted fiction Christian writers. Imagine if you are a France and Rivers and you're not using that gift, that talent to be a France and Rivers who write books upon books that will sell millions upon millions of books. That would be a tragedy. And the problem is right there because you only find a one France and Rivers in a million people. And the rest of the million, they think that they cannot be another France and Rivers or they, they cannot be as unique as France and Rivers in another niche, in another aspect. So they look down on it and all along what they're doing is trying to be the same with other person, other, another human being. Listen, there is a possibility that the answers to our questions in life are around us, within us. In fact, they are with us already. But all along we are looking as if we are looking for a green card to the United States of America. You know, when Biden came to power, you see the border being swamped by as many immigrants as possible. Why are they doing that? They're trying to find the American dream. They're trying to... And probably there are very many other valid reasons as to why that is happening. My point is this, that there could be a possibility that the answers to every human being are with those human beings. And that's why I am thinking it is important for us to go back to ground zero. Ground zero is your gift, your talent, your purpose, your calling, your ideas, and your passion. That's where ground zero is. And figure out how to make it from there. There's got to be an input, a process, and an output. And I'm creating, I've created, by the way, I've created, I've created an online course that is geared towards unraveling this thing. That people can convert their purpose into profit. And you can, you can find this on bit.ly slash purpose to profit dash coaching. By the way, the word purpose to profit has a numeral two. Purpose, numeral two, profit. So this is the address again. bit.ly slash purpose to profit. Remember the numeral two dash coaching and you can find how we can unravel the whole thing now i take you through steps where you can unravel the the whole thing finding out where your gift is your talent your purpose your calling your ideas and your passion and now starting the process it is a process of converting it into something that is valuable to us as human beings and valuable to you as the originator of that thing Therefore, you're solving problems, you're adding value, you're creating things, and you're making this world a better place. You're contributing, you're impacting. And in return, for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. For every, and in return, you get paid for it. That's what we're calling purpose to profit. Can you shut me down on that one? Can you think that I am just being, being verbose and just speaking empty words, empty rhetoric? You will be wrong because I am a living testimony of that very fact. Two things. One, I knew I was gifted. At a very early age, before I was even a teenager, I knew I was gifted in writing and in words, with working with words. However, I went through the system of trying to be the same as everybody else. Everybody was, everybody was going to school, high school and university so that they can get a job. I, I went through all that and I went through a process of looking for a CV, creating a CV, feeling bad about myself that I didn't have a degree and so on. But I turned the whole thing around in that as we speak today, a bulk of what I am earning is coming from my gifts and my talents and not from the degree that I have or the degree that I do not have. 
So I'm going to continue talking about purpose to profit, but I want us to scratch out, continue scratching our heads and thinking aloud about this thing. Could it be that this is one of the solutions? I will not in any way say saying that this is a silver bullet, but I'm saying that life is filled with multiple solutions and this, ladies and gentlemen, is worth bothering about. Well, until tomorrow where we're discussing something else, go to that link that I've given you. It's even on the right up to this. And we'll talk about it much more. Stay tuned and bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.